During hurricane season, you've probably heard meteorologists talk about something called the cone of uncertainty. It's designed to show people where the center of the storm is likely to head. And over the years, the National Hurricane Center has been shrinking the cone. Paul Dudley has more. As hurricane season continues to ramp up, you will likely be hearing about the cone of uncertainty more and more. And actually, that model has become more accurate over the years. Telling us more about it is Peyton Malone, our local weather expert. So Peyton, first off, what is the cone of uncertainty and how has it become more accurate in the last few years? Yeah, it's just that. It's what we call it, the cone of uncertainty, because it talks about the uncertainty with the path of the storm. And it is interesting how they make it. And it's important to know that the cone never changes size for X amount of days out for the forecast. So uh, we're talking about the uncertainty with uh, looking at the errors over the past five years. So back in 05, something interesting, you look at the size of the cone in 05 compared to today. Today's cone is much, much smaller. In 2005, it was about 400 miles across when you're looking three days out. Today's cone is only 200 miles across, and that's simply because our forecasts have gotten that much better. So two thirds of the time, Paul, the, the track of the storm will remain inside the cone, but there's always that chance one third of the time uh, that the storm could still go outside uh, of the cone itself. And why is it that now the, the cone is smaller than it was in 2005? What type of work went into making that more of an accurate forecast? Yeah, and it, it all goes back to the, the folks at the National Hurricane Center who create the official forecast. Our modeling has gotten better. We have excellent satellites now, and you couple that all together and you just simply get a, a better forecast over the past 15 years or so. And when they fly in the hurricane hunters fly in, does that help with the cone of uncertainty or is that something separate? The, the hurricane hunters are actually a very crucial part because the important part of getting an accurate forecast is having actual weather instruments measure the storm and we wouldn't have that without the hurricane hunters. And, and lastly, why is this such an important tool for you guys, but also for the public? Yeah, so when you're talking about tropical systems, we all know down here there's always some uncertainty. So it's important to know that there are multiple scenarios, but it's also important to know that the impacts always fall outside of the cone. The cone does not tell you where the impacts are. They tell you where the center of the storm is going to go. And as you know, storms can be pretty big. So the impacts of that go well outside the cone of uncertainty. Well, certainly still good advice to watch the warnings and, of course, listen to your local weather experts like you, Peyton. <laughs> Appreciate it. <laughs> Thanks for telling us about it, man.